So Atlassian Strategic Collection is made up of three different tools, focus, talent, and align. And let's just double down on focus and cover what exactly is focus. Well, the idea, or at least the example that Atlassian gave us is, we have lines of businesses, and those lines of businesses have objectives that they want to complete. And they ideally want all their work to align with these strategic businesses, right? It can become very, very challenging to be able to align quarterly goals and objectives with the actual work that's inside of Jira, with what teams are trying to focus on. And everybody has their own tools, everybody has their own processes, everybody has their own ways of doing work. But what Atlassian is doing here is they're introducing a new app called Focus, right? And as you can see here, it's going to be naturally embedded into the experience where we have focus areas, and you're going to basically be able to define your goals. Now, this is also connected with the goals that we talked about from the other platform apps. So all of it is going to be connected together. So focus is going to be connected with the goals, right, from that goal app. It's going to be connected with the work, which is Jira. It's going to be connected with teams from the teamwork graph, and it's going to be connected with funds, which is going to come from another app that we're going to talk about soon. And so there's a lot of integrations here, as you can see. And in fact, funds can also come from other places like an Excel file. And so Atlassian is doing some interesting things where they're just putting a lot of information together, and you're going to be able to see how many items have been started or not started. You're going to see how many positions based on your talent have been filled. You're going to be able to see your goals, which ones are off track, and then how much money or percent of your budget you've actually spent. And before we get to that, let me tell you about Aspire Life. Jura shouldn't have to be this hard, and we have an entire team that is ready to help you out with all of your Jura problems. So check out the link down in the description, fill out this information, and let one of our experts reach out to you and help you out on this journey. And now back to the video. So again, a lot of companies I think are looking for this. I think this is a really, really smart move from Atlassian. Um, you're going to be able to have, again, connections to your goals, latest updates on what's going on with your goals. You're going to be able to create Loom videos to explain why you're off schedule. And so you can see all the synergies between all the different tools and how Atlassian expects these to play out. Now, what I will say that this, again, depending on how Atlassian markets this, I'm very confused. I don't know what to think of it. I think it's one of those things where I'm very generally excited if it's going to be available to the general public. It almost sounded like it's going to be, again, an enterprise-only thing with respect to folks on Jira Align. I really hope that's not the case, though. I think a lot of businesses would benefit from this. But again, jury's still out on that one. We'll have to wait and see. But my second concern about Focus is that a lot of this is cool in theory. And the proof is in the pudding. And how Atlassian rules this out how we actually sign up for this stuff is really what's going to make or break this capability. So I'm generally excited about it, but I'm cautiously optimistic because Atlassian has been known from time to time to make these announcements like focus and talent, but we probably won't see them out in the wild until like March of 2026. So not sure what to think about it just yet. I'm generally excited. I think it's promising, but I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you and your company looking forward to focus? Do you think it's going to be stuck behind your align or do you think the general public will be able to use it? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And while you're down there, make sure you smash the like button on this video and hit that subscribe button to this channel. And I'll see you in the next one.